Okay, so this is the office tour. So this is just a first glance at the office. My husband is a carpenter, contractor, all the above, and he created the office. He built the entire built-in, the doors, everything by himself, the bench, all of that. So he did all the built-ins and this used to be a dining room, but he converted it to my home office. There used to be a chandelier in the middle and he also redid all the lighting. And this is the hole I keep referring to in the office. We have several of those holes that we need to fix or my husband needs to fix throughout the house. That's where the water came in, there was damage. And we're gonna have to fix that. And when he fixes that, he's gonna have to tear apart either this first entire half of the built-in or just part of it, whatever is easier. So when he does that, I'll have to move out temporarily again. And uh, that'll be a headache, but we do need to get that fixed. We do need to get those lights fixed as well. So if we start in this corner, this is the entrance here. I have my kitchen and you can see more plastic over there because of all the other renovations. Let me know if you want a full house renovation tour. So I want, I do want to start out with this door. This door we ordered from, I believe Lowe's, either Lowe's or Home Depot. It was during the COVID pandemic and it took forever to get here because everything was in shortage and it just took like, I think almost eight months for us to get this door. It's not, I mean, it's really not all that. It's just, it was just a simple door. It wasn't even painted. It was just a very simple door and all we wanted was clear glass on it. And then I got this doorknob from, I believe it was Overstock, but if I can find, or if you want to have a link to anything that I go over, just let me know, but I'll try to link whatever I can. But this was from Overstock. I've had it for, I want to say three years now, almost three years I want to say, and it's become a bit loose. It does lock, but it's still, it's pretty good and it's really nice. Then I have my vision board and these are all the states that I've been to. I used to be a big travel person. I love traveling. I still do, but I'm not as interested in traveling as I used to be when I was in my 20s. And I also have another map over there of all the other countries that I've been to. So yeah, I just keep these as a reminder and I do want to start traveling again, but with my kids when they're a bit older. And this is my vision board. I have our dream house. We were very close to purchasing what I would call our dream house, but it just didn't happen. It was going to require us to move states. It was before we had kids. So anyway, I still have pictures of the possibilities. I have just my vision board here. See traveling when my kids are older and running my own business and blog and all sorts of things there. So that is the vision board. I also have what I call this big command board and I bought this from Hobby Lobby and then I just painted it the same color as the cabinets there. I use this differently pretty much every year. This year I decided to do the six months on the board so I can visually see what's going on for the six months. I have appointments. I have other things pinned on there, but I took them off just for privacy reasons. And then this is the checklist that I'm using for my son um, of all the words that he's learning. I want him to know at least 50 words before he turns two. And then these are the milestones as well as what I need to be teaching him. And then my sister who takes care of him is also helping with that. This was probably the best curriculum that I could find. And it's uh, if you just Google or look up at Kids Activities with Alexa, I think she has one of the best curriculums for kids because it's not overwhelming. It, I think it's just right, especially for busy working with moms like myself or just busy moms in general. This is a Goodwill find. I just thought the mirror was really pretty. I'm not sure what it goes to. It seems like it had another piece to it, but I just really like that mirror and that's where I put it. And this showcases just a lot of our crystals. My husband is an avid collector. He loves crystals. He got me on board with it and now I love crystals too. So yeah, so these is just are some of our collections. That's a picture that my sister did when I went to college and she drew that. Now she's turning 21 and she's the one that takes care of my baby. So I think that's just a really cute reminder there of the circle of life. And that's me when I used to dance. I used to be in a Mexican folklore group and I used to dance for, I don't know, a long time. And that's just one of the many pictures that I have. And that's just one of my favorite pictures there. And these are just some of our crystals here. We have lots here as well. We have some here. Sorry for the lighting, but again, this is where the hole is. And there used to be a light there and of course it's gone. So I do like to name some of the crystals just because sometimes I forget what the name is. So I do name a lot of them. And then this is just some of the collection. So that's it. And then I just have a lot of stuff under there, but a lot of the cables and things I don't really 
I like to keep that closed. I love this bench. It does have storage underneath, but I this is storage that I don't really need to access. So that's why it's perfect. So a lot of the official paperwork and just other things that I don't really need access on a daily, weekly, or even monthly basis. It's just stored in there. And this thing here is the scaffold is blocking my view, but I do have a really nice view and you can't quite see it, but there is a lake across and well, the thing, and the windows are dirty from the outside, but you can probably see some of the lake there, but yeah, it's no, that's, that's the road. Okay. Well, you can't see it. Oh, maybe there, Yeah, you can see the lake there, but it's, um, it's a really nice lake. I love it. I wish that the house was designed to where it was facing the lake and we could see it, but I still have a nice view. It's just a scaffold again. A lot of renovations happening right now. These were actually made, handmade by my husband's friend. She gifted this to us after we, after our wedding, I believe. She was our witness for our wedding. Very nice lady. And yeah, that's just one of the things we have. And then this is, I think the pillowcase is just from Amazon. This is a grounding mat. Again, if you can't tell, my husband is very spiritual into alternative forms of medicine. And all sorts of things so this is a grounding mat that he got me for grounding if you want to learn more about it i can also link it below or i can do a video about it and just more storage there a lot of storage storage and these are just more crystals i love having plants these plants are about to die i need to actually i don't know what to do with them i've watered them i think i over watered them so we'll see this is one of my favorite pieces we got this from puerto rico one of the trips that my husband and i went and then just my book collection i tried to color code these as best as I could, the books. Of course, my husband and my son. These pieces are from Nigeria on one of the trips that I went to Nigeria, so I keep those there. And then just more crystals, some tarot cards. And then this is a very unique piece. I can't remember what this is called, actually. I don't have a, a tag, but it's a very unique piece. I love that. These crystals I got on a very, very good deal. It's a small business. They sell in a flea market, but they have access to people that mine some of these crystals so they get one of the best prices and i think we were able to get all of the the entire collection for i want to say a thousand five hundred or something like that but if you know crystals these things are very very heavy they're i want to say almost 100 pounds i mean they're just very heavy and they cost a lot of money i think just this the middle one would have been at minimum a thousand or more so we got a very good deal on the crystals there and as you can see we are avid crystal collectors which is something that we're no longer buying because we are prioritizing where we spend our money i think that we already have a very good crystal collection and again i'm not about restricting i'm not about having a poverty mentality or restricting myself i'm about living in abundance and right now I have an abundant amount of crystals, so I'm no longer buying them. And that's just, that's how I rationalize things. And that's another nice piece and it comes with its other half there as well. And you can see these are halves and those are halves. And then that big middle one in there. This is another really nice one that we got from the same place. A lot of these crystals are from the same place. And then that, I think that one was just a home goods find. I think I just found that at home goods and it was on sale and I just grabbed it because it was a really, really nice piece. I can't remember where I got this one from. It might have been another home goods find. And yeah, it's just really nice pieces. Giraffe. I always keep a giraffe. My son also has giraffes in his room. It was sort of a giraffe safari theme because my nickname growing up used to be giraffe because I was one of the tallest. And I just, I drew that or painted that in one of the uh, paint with a twist classes. Okay, so this is the view from behind. And there's always some sort of station for my son in every room. It's just part of <laughs> being a mom. So I have this little board here. We try to draw, we try to do activities as much as I can so he continues learning. And there's another little toy. Cable management, not the best, but it works. And then this is the desk. I do have a corporate job. So that's my setup for my full-time job. And then this is my setup for my business. And I love having flowers. I always try to have flesh, flesh fresh flowers in my office. I love plants. As you can see, I just, I love the greenery in here. And then I try to always have this humidifier running. It just helps me and I use a lot of the doTERRA oil essentials, but I also found a lady at the flea market that sells a lot of the essentials for like two bucks 
literally a fraction, small fraction of what I used to pay with doTERRA. And that's just the mic that I use for a lot of my videos. I don't always have the best sound quality. I'm not sure how to improve it, but I do have the Rode mic and then that there. And these are my planners that I use for the blog. These are just for notes. That's my personal planner that I use pretty much every day. And then I started using the Laurel Denise planner to start planning out my content as well. I used to do a lot of other planner videos, but I stopped doing those. Let me know if you want to update on how I'm using my planners. And then again, just fresh flowers. I do have my jewelry there that I use and then more crystals. And that is pretty much it. I love having the money tree plant as well. I try to do a bit of feng shui on the desk and a bit of feng shui on the office so yep it just helps with the energy and all the things that get done in this office is just amazing there's a lot of productivity that happens here and i like having a calm energetic peaceful motivating space as you can see i am not a minimalist by by any means i do have a lot of stuff and i i don't know i enjoy it so that is it i just wanted to have give you a quick tour of the home office i've had a lot of questions about the office and i love when the sunlight is coming through the sunrise and sunsets are so nice from this window let me know if you guys want a more detailed tour of the office if you have any questions but this is the home office until next time my name is Janet with janet kb bye